Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today is her day, our queen of bad makeup experiments and also bad fashion choices. <laughs> Sophia. Although we will not make any bad makeup science, there will be a lot of bad fashion science. Let's start this, shall we? Sophia Nugard. I think it's Nugard because it's Danish. I work for a Danish company, but I don't speak Danish, but I understand a little bit of Danish because I speak German, so eh, I don't know. Nugard, I'm gonna call you Nugard. And I think the things that represent Sophia the most are a bat, of course, her cutie cat, Krusty, the moon, some franken lipsticks that she adores doing and we adore watching her nice makeup experiments. And she has a brand, Fins by Saf, to which the logo is a rose. So I will be incorporating that as well. I will sew a bat dress, of course, it has to be comfortable. So I chose a nice jersey fabric for that. It's stretchy and light and cool to wear at any weather or occasion. After drawing all the elements on the rubber, I proceeded to carve them just to come to a problem. So I was testing Krusty and I don't like this. I bought a different rubber than I usually do. You can see that it's really thin. The ones I generally have is... look at the difference. It has one side, a little bit of texture. I don't know if you can see this with the camera, but I thought, okay, I'm gonna carve this. Then it means it will maybe take more paint. But I tested it and it's not the case. That means that everything that I drew before, I will now have to draw on the other side of the rubber. So this will take me another half hour. After the Krusty crisis, was averted I proceeded to carve all of the rest and it worked once I used the smooth side of the rubber I didn't have any patterns for flary dresses with flary sleeves in my assortment of patterns so I had to do one myself I just took a straight dress pattern made some strategic cuts here and there and at the end I had my beautiful Franken patterns yeah it's dusty <laughs> I have my Franken patterns prepared because I didn't have anything with flares, so I had to make my own. Now I will cut the dress first and then I will stamp it because of reasons. I have to admit that I'm not really good at placing the sewing patterns on top of the fabric, so I have maximum fabric usage. I always have a lot of leftovers, but I tried my best for this one because I only had two and a half meters of this jersey and I didn't feel like going to the store to buy more. It worked out fine in the end and it turned out to be more fabric than I actually needed. So now I have some extra. I was really unhappy with the width of my things, so I glued it on to cardboard pieces because I need something stable. The bed is a little bit too big, so it was wobbly when I was pressing it down. So now I need to make this work. just lost the base for the flower. I thought I would lose this first, but no, the base for the flower. Where is it? Where's the base for the flower? I lost 10 minutes of my life searching for this piece of crap and you know where it was? Attached to my t-shirt. Time to take my manches and my sushi and go for a walk.
Yoshi from the swamp. Miss <laughs> Junku, that is. Oh my god, she has stockings on. Look at that, she's black. Ew, sushi! You're sleeping outside tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh, ah, she smells like sewer. Ew! Does anyone want to take sushi for the night? Sushi to go. Yes, I'm talking about you. Ugh. Oh, I love the Franken lipsticks. Franken crusties are now done. And this little guy, really like him. And off to the serger. So I added some facing to the neckline with fusible interfacing, so it is well finished. And now I have to add the sleeves. Bad sleeves. <laughs> done with the dress now it's just missing the hem and for that I will use a cover stitch machine that I have but I never used it because I don't know how and I never really thought about using it because I don't know how and I'm nervous because I don't know how <laughs> well let's set it up and see how it goes ew there are a lot of dead animals there so this is the dreaded machine. You might be wondering why do I have it if I don't use it. It was cheaper to get the cover stitch and the overlock together than buy only one of them. So I got this monster just laying here. This is what a cover stitch does for hemming jerseys mostly. So it's stretchy and doesn't fall apart. We have two lines of stitching here and you have a chain on the back that works with the fabric. <laughs> The reveal. Wait a second, why is this dress black if I saw you stamping all of that fabric? It's a transformation dress! Of course that I could not let it pass that Sofia always makes some weird fashion choices to test products. I was inspired by it and I created a dress that's actually two in one. Come inside of my sleigh. And you can also interpret it as having a cape. This dress is very flowy and it made me want to dance all the time and everybody around was looking at me as if I were drunk. But I was not. I don't drink. I made this as a surprise for all of you. If you want me to show you how to do that, just leave me a comment below and I will try to make a tutorial. I suck at tutorials, but for you I will do almost anything. I don't wear much black, but now I understand what it feels like. I might start wearing more black. And this was also a great opportunity for me to use my backpack that I bought two years ago and never got to use it. See, Steve, there is a use for it after all. I paired this amazing dress with very odd looking platform sneakers. And I am also wearing a similar shade to the Franken lipstick she created. Overall, I think this is something that Sofia would wear in real life. It is indeed a transformation dress, but it is also wearable. Contrary to most of the things that I create in this channel, unfortunately Sephora was closed, so I was only able to take this frontal shot of the store. Breaking in was not really a good idea. And this paint, it's also the first time that I'm using it. It's a paint special for screen printing and it's thicker than the normal ones that I use, so it would stick to black and it works very fine. What do you think of this and who should I do next? Let me know in the comments. And if you like crazy DIY projects and sewing shenanigans, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye! Cameraman, making sure everything is pretty.